Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel once again. So today is the day most of you guys asked me what is your next car. Uh you sold your beloved uh, Polo so what is going on everything. So this is the answer. So basically I wanted a automatic car. Uh so uh, not outside of Vibe family. So I was looking for almost 2 to 3 months and I got this one. Uh the perfect one I would say. and uh, why i changed because uh, this car is for my parents uh and my mom is facing some difficulty on driving manual car so that's why i wanted to go with automatic one okay let's go to the video first i don't want to waste your time so by seeing this steering uh, most of you guys think about something else but what i'm going to show to you that is totally different let me come outside and i'm going to show you the exterior of this car first what you guys are thinking is the vertus or slavia so see it's a 1.2 tsi uh, polo 2019 variant so why i choose this car because of with the mods and we most of them i think uh, the cars whichever is in instagram or youtube they are the best even i was uh, kind of the same but when i saw this car i i am completely uh, in love with this car especially this car is not even in the internet so and it it has the pretty much whatever it can be done to this car uh, my previous owner uh, had done it already so let's see one by one i'm going to show you the side profile do you guys see anything yeah those are aftermarket alloy wheels and uh, if you look in detail so the front one has 312 mm s1 audi s1 it's a 16 inch alloy wheel from lenso and it is having 205 55 r16 rubber not only this one this car even has a rear disc yeah my previous owner did the rear disc conversion as well so this car has both side of discs and this is the side profile let me go to the front i guess in the front side you guys hardly notice it but there is one mod did you see these lights these are projectors it this is not an aftermarket headlamp uh, but this guy done a retrofit uh, a projector lens inside the halogen lamp and uh, the the same projector setup what i have in my rapid the light throw is ultimate so this is the front profile i'm going to other side as well so this is a metallic gray but uh, somehow i find this a black uh, above 5 pm or 6 pm mostly in the evening and on the rear side nothing much changed apart from this dual tip exhaust the only mod what i did to this car is this one the antenna is from passat and it works fine no signal loss or anything so this is the exterior and now i'll tell you about the performance mods um so this car is running actually on stage 2 setup Uh, with the stage 2 TCU and ECU map it had it was having a straight uh, exhaust system uh, but i put back everything into a stock because my parents is driving this one uh, let me show you the engine bay this is a 1.2 TSI uh, engine so you won't feel any difference here apart from this big pipe so this is from Fabia VRS and uh, it has a BMC uh, air filter so that's a car cat apart from i don't think so you won't uh, you won't find anything so let me and uh, here you see so this entire car is entire car is dampered so even the roof front bonnet so wherever it required so the performance i would say uh, it should be around 130 to 135 uh, it is not pushed much 
it's a clean map no pops and banks or anything else just a stage two okay let me show you the interior so at the very first thing when you enter this car what you see is the steering so the steering is from not from Virtus or anything this is from Golf R so the difference between Virtus and Golf R steering uh, the steering is little bit small and it has this kind of a perforator material and it has the R logo as well and it has the maxi dot cluster and uh, yeah apart from this this RCD is basic but the amplifier what it has it's kind of a, a pretty good setup I guess focal I'm not good at this um, uh, sound related stuffs and all but uh, my previous owner said uh, he has the amplifier on the driver side as well as on the passenger side which uh, is included with a DSP system uh, this is pretty much good uh, not too high or not like stock uh, it is decent so this is the uh, you know for adjusting the base I'll show you the subwoofer as well it's in the rear and all four doors has the component speaker so this is a subwoofer I guess this is focal it shows the infinite symbol it's okay I'm not good at that let's close the boot okay so apart from this what else yeah here sorry so here it has the Passat dome light so in the night time ambience is too good so I'm planning to change this cigarette holder as well to eliminated one and uh, so even this car has uh, one second yeah so even this car has the indirect PPMS which I think it kind of aesthetic until unless uh, you got a flat tire it doesn't work I guess this light and the chiller option is coming by default in the GT variant and uh, he has added this hand dust as well this pure OEM I guess this is from uh, GTI that's why it is having this nice fabric inside and this entire car he just covered with the silicon thing earlier it was here here in everywhere so to avoid the scratches uh, you can see the tweeters here and there sorry I need to adjust my exposure yeah you can see the tweeter and here and here and just check out this interior um, it is pretty much clean um, no. he has added a red football light as well this is a OEM one I guess um, he only changed the bulb into LED or something so this looks pretty clean uh, such a clean mod yes this 8k OPS system this guy retrofitted I'll show you so it has the parking sensors even in the front side so here if you see there are four sensors in the front even in the back side so it has 8k OPS system even it has the rear view camera and one more cool thing is this car even has the DRL this is an aftermarket uh, thing what I said earlier but it is pretty much cool so this will glow when you are turning on the parking lights apart from this if you notice uh, honestly you won't notice it uh, so when this guy took this car uh, so this car was a gen 2 car uh, in the sense uh, this is not the actual bumper I mean both front and back uh, it has the type 2 uh, so after a month I guess 1 liter TSI came into the picture sadly uh, but it's okay uh, this guy went ahead and changed this bumper also so it is everything is pretty OEM apart from this alloy wheel everything is OEM uh, so that's why I liked it very much uh, this car almost clocked around 66,000 kilometers when I uh, took it it's a single owner car and I got some I got it for some good deal as well and most of them asked me why 1.2 TSI and why not 1 liter so this is a simple answer I need an automatic car 
and uh, my parents are going to drive it even i searched almost for 2 to 3 months to get one 1 liter tsi automatic gt or highline plus but uh, you know you go you know guys right so now the market is too high for the polo i'm not able to search any single car i mean a good car below 11 lakhs which was the on road price earlier in my hometown so this is a better uh, deal for me uh, which i can afford without any uh, loan or emi honestly so that's why i went with this car but why this is still a polo right one liter tsi uh, once he was a king uh, i mean earlier 2018 17 16 uh, most of the guys who were own this car they know about it yeah yeah that pretty much about uh, this car so i'm going forward with a few other mods also in the future so i'll tell you one by one maybe i'll post a video also uh, so the very first thing i did this is the uh, shark fin antenna and the second thing uh, I'm going to change into a uh, OE GTA uh, tip so this bit uh, kind of looking like aftermarket one so I'm going to change that as well uh, maybe for a flip camera and yeah most of the things are done I don't know I'm honestly don't know what to do with this car maybe a electric seat uh, but again this is a petrol car this, those seats are very heavy that is also in mind uh, we'll see guys but uh, somehow I'm happy with this car, but I still miss my uh, Lightning McQueen. It's okay. Okay. So let's start the engine. Let me pull down all the glasses and start it. I guess you guys are able to hear kind of a sportive uh, exhaust note. It is because of. Uh, it is having a stock resonator but uh, also there is a aftermarket end can here so you won't feel it too much noise but uh, there is a sweet note so let's take it now i'm on the highway so i'm going to show you the performance so let's switch off the ac put it into sports mode hazard lights are on now just wait for the free road meanwhile this car is tuned by uh, venom performance india uh, it is running on stage 2 uh, it's not a aggressive map it's a linear one road is free i'm going to give a launch pretty quick and the efficiency wise uh, if I want to talk about uh, yeah most of them ask me about this uh, efficiency fuel economy or uh, whatever yeah uh, it is pretty much straightforward so this is about your driving not about the tune um, so in this car in the city I'm getting around uh, 13 to 15 I would say in the sedative drive uh, in rash drive I'll get around 11 to 13 and in highways uh, it is around between 18 to 19 honestly uh, but compared to my TDI there is still petrol uh, fine uh, but this fun this polo gives I am not getting in my rapid that is pretty much aggressive very aggressive uh, but uh, this feel what polo gives right none of the car will gives you honestly well, so i can show you here see add it on launch still it shows 12 uh, see so the overall consumption i mean the fuel consumption is 14.3 uh, per kilometer per liter pretty good right so it is in stage uh, it is tuned car giving performance as well as the fuel efficiency uh, i don't think this stock car gives you this much uh, efficiency uh, what i have purchased or uh, got it from my friend i'm pretty much happy 
and um, yeah stay with me guys we'll uh, do more on this car thank you